Hello kids, how are you? I hope you all are good. Today we are going to start with a new chapter that is introduction to Adobe Animate CC. So what is animation? Animation is the process of designing, drawing and making layouts and preparation of photographic. So animation involves the management of all still images to work them or make them look into an illusion. An animator works on these images he captures all of them to animate them into the desired sequence. So in this chapter, we'll learn about the software Adobe Animate CC. So let's begin with what is animation? Adobe Animate CC, features of Adobe Animate CC, starting Animate CC, creating a new Animate file, Components of Animate CC, Understanding Timeline, Understanding the Drawing Tools in Tools Panel, Changing the Stage Size, Changing the Background Color, Saving an Animate File, Opening an Animate File, Closing an Animate File. Let's just start the chapter. These are made in Adobe Animation CC. What is animation? Animation is the process of designing, drawing, making layouts and preparation of photographic sequences which are integrated in the multimedia and gaming products. Animation involves the exploitation and management of still images to generate the illusion of movement. A person who creates animations is called an animator. He she uses various computer technologies to capture the still images and then to animate these in desired sequence. To do animation, different software are used in which Adobe Animate CC is the most popular. Adobe Animate CC Adobe Animate CC provides a comprehensive authoring environment for creating interactive and media-rich applications. Animate CC is widely used to create engaging projects, integrating videos, various types of sounds, graphics, and animations. Original content can be created in Animate CC or import assets from other Adobe applications such as Photoshop or Illustrator. Animate CC lets an user easily design animation, add video and sound, and then use a language to integrate interactivity. Features of Adobe Animate CC Create illustrations and other artwork. Animate CC has many drawing tools that allow to create vector graphics. Vector graphics are composed of lines, curves, and polygons. Work with symbols and instances. Symbols are objects in Animate CC that can be reused. These objects can be graphics, buttons, movie clips, sounds, and videos. Copies of symbols that are used in an Animate CC movie are called instances. Create animation. There are many ways to animate in Adobe Animate CC. Animations can be created by using frame by frame or motion tweening method. Layers. Layers are the keys to work with graphic objects and animation. A user can draw, erase, add or remove instances on one layer without affecting another layer. Layers can also be hidden or locked. Layers can be used for organization in a move complex animate document. They are very helpful in working with multiple animations. Adobe Animate Camera Adobe Animate CC introduces virtual camera functionality. With the help of this feature, one can easily stimulate the camera's movement giving the animation a more realistic view. Export Format Adobe Animate CC has adapted the web standards for exporting the animation which makes it easier for everyone to view it from desktop to mobile devices. Vector Brushes They are helpful in creating strokes in touch-sensitive devices. The width can be changed according to how much pressure is applied while creating patterns. Audio Syncing Timeline feature of the tool will not allow the users to sync audios in their animations and this is a yet another feature that Animate CC has added. This means the user can do audio synchronization for the animation series. Starting Animate CC Click on Start button to open Start menu. 
A list of all installed apps appears on the left of the start menu. Scroll down and click on Adobe Animate CC. Adobe Animate CC opens with a welcome screen. Creating a new Animate file. Click on File. The file menu appears. Click on New. The new document dialog box appears. Click on the desired document type. In the dialog box, the following properties can be changed. Click on Create. A blank document appears on the Animate CC window screen. Components of Animate CC Menu Bar Title Bar Properties tab Library Workspace Menu Current Scene Stage Workspace Timeline Buttons Layers Frame Timeline Tools Panel Understanding Timeline Timeline in Adobe Animate CC organizes and controls a document's content over time in layers and frames. Like a movie film, animate documents divide lengths of time into frames. Layers are like multiple film strips stacked on top of one another, each containing a different image that appears on the stage. The major components of the timeline are timeline header, layers, frames, and the playhead. Layers in a document are listed in a column on the left side of the timeline. Frames contained in each layer appear in a row to the right of the layer name. Timeline header at the top of the timeline indicates frame numbers. Playhead indicates the current frame displayed on the stage. As a document plays, the playhead moves from left to right through the timeline. By default, the playhead loops when it reaches the end. Timeline status, displayed at the bottom of the timeline indicates the selected frame number, the current frame rate, and the elapsed time to the current frame. Timeline shows where animation occurs in a document, including frame-by-frame -frame animation, tweened animation, and motion pans. Controls in the Layers section of the timeline let you hide, show, lock or unlock layers, and display layer content as outlines. Timeline frames can be dragged to a new location on the same layer or to a different layer. Understanding the drawing tools in Tools Panel Selection tool or arrow Use it to select and move items on the stage. Sub-selection tool Displays edit points that you can adjust to change a line shape. Free transform tool Use it to transform graphic objects. 3D rotation Use it to rotate a symbol in 3D space. It shares space with the 3D translation tool. Lasso. Use it to select irregularly shaped objects on the stage. It shares space with polygon and magic wand tools. Text. Use it to draw text boxes to enter and edit text. Pen. Use it to draw precise curves. It shares space with tools to modify your Bezier curves. Rectangle Use it to draw square and rectangular shapes. This tool shares space with rounded rectangle tool. Line Use it to draw straight lines. Oval Use it to draw oval and circular shapes. This tool shares space with oval primitive tool. Polystar Use it to draw polygon shapes. Pencil. Use it to draw freeform lines. Paint brush. Use it to fill shapes with color. Brush. Use it to draw with a fine color, much like a paint brush. Bone. Use it to create objects with inverse kinematics. It shares space with the bind tool. Paint bucket. Use it to fill shapes with color. Ink bottle. Use it to add stroke or outline to shapes. Eyedropper. Use it to copy the attributes of one object to another. Eraser. Use it to erase parts of the graphic objects. Camera. Use it to pan, zoom, and rotate your animation. Width. Use it to embellish a stroke by adding widths of varying thickness. Zoom. Use it to magnify your view or zoom out for a better look in the stage. 
hand. Use it to move your view of the objects on the stage or in the workspace. Stroke color. Use it to select color for lines and shapes outlines. Black and white. Fill color. Use it to select a color for fills. Swap colors. Change your fill color to your stroke color and vice versa. Changing the stage size. Click on Advanced Setting in the Properties Settings. The Document Settings dialog box appears. Select the measuring unit, example, pixels, from the Units list box. Type the height and width dimensions of stage size required. Click on OK. Animate Movie is now set to the desired dimensions. Changing the background color. Click on the white box of the stage. A set of color swatches appears. Click on any one of the colors to select a new background color. The background color changes to the color you have selected. Saving an animate file. Click on File menu. The file menu appears. Click on Save. The Save as dialog box appears. Choose the destination to save the file. In the file name text box, type a file name for the file. Click on Save. The file will be saved for the future use. Opening an animate file. Click on File menu. The file menu appears. Click on Open box. The open dialog box appears. Navigate the folder where saved file is. Click on Open. The file appears in Animate. Closing an animate file. To close an animate file, simply click on the Close button in the File menu. The default extension for an animate file is .fla.